this matter? <coughs> is jurisdiction being contested by either the Sheriff's Department or the Department of Public Health? No, on behalf of the Sheriff's Department. All right. Did I? Member Kilhelm. I'm just going to suggest uh, finding jurisdiction, and I would so move uh, for the excluding Eileen Shields, who uh, is retired from the city and, in fact, was not in that capacity at the time of the request. sure when the complaint committee or complaint subcommittee is being reconstituted, but I think it's high time that the task force put its foot down. There's a huge difference between public records and medical records, or public records and police records that may have involved medical records. And I strongly urge you to introduce a friendly amendment to this motion, and instead of accepting jurisdiction today, simply refer to your complaint committee to have an adequate discussion about jurisdiction of medical records, which are private records. They are not public records. You have been through this before with Mr. Greg Garza. I believe the last time, Department of Public Health um, response to the complaint indicated that um, they are not public records. And so I don't believe you should even be wasting your time and screwing up your efficiency rating by hearing a matter that may involve public records, I mean private medical records rather than personal records. This is not the Ministry of Information for private medical records. It's the Sunshine Task Force that deals with open government and open public records, with the emphasis on public. I think you have granted far too much leeway to Mr. Grant Carter when former member Bruce Wolf tried to assist Mr. Garz, and Mr. Garz's response was to bite back at the hand that fed him. It's now time for you to start exercising some control over your agenda. And if it is not a matter involving public records, you should not be wasting your committee time dancing around the issue anymore. Thank you. Thank you. Is there additional public comment on jurisdiction? I see none. Through the chair. Um, Member Davis. Yes. Uh, are, is there a time limit on uh, public comment on jurisdiction? Um, I haven't set one, no. Okay. And I'm also going to request that the chair ask the public to keep the comments on jurisdiction to actually jurisdiction and not the facts of the case. All right. Duly noted. Um, without objection, a motion to accept jurisdiction. All right. Um, for the hearing now, the complainant has up to five minutes to present facts and evidence in support of your complaint. Uh, we'll then hear from um, the parties um, who will have five minutes each, up to five minutes each to present facts and evidence. Before, and before we start the clock, is it possible for me to request the overhead projector and the ability to use the screen to show you a small clip of a video that I have when I, this incident occurred. Um, you, may, you, you may use the overhead projector. Um, in terms of video, I do not know what format you have available to display at this time. Uh, Windows Media. Uh, if you have a file to upload to the computer, we'd be happy to do that. I upload, or I can't install my USB drive and just you know click to it and click to the section. Um, as far as I'm unaware of what format you have, we can give it a try, but... Thank you. Let's do that. And then we can start the clock because, you know, this is all part of my presentation. 
have your USB drive, please. Name of your file? Uh, it is going to be um, eleven twenty seven. Back to one? Can you look at the front and put it sideways, please? No, that's that's an image file. Let me get you the uh, it's this one here. The quick time one. I think trying to get it to get the full screen. Okay, so whenever you guys are ready. Yeah, but I want to screw it up to a certain set. Okay, whatever. Okay, once again, Wednesday, 1127, back to medical records to give them this IDR written request for my medical... Is yeah, me Am I a right of pride? Okay, go ahead. Burger coming out. Okay. Give me a moment. Yeah, no, just pause it. Hello, is anybody? Thank you. Okay. Thank you. All right, so I'm 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 ready to start now. If that's okay. All right. Now? Yes, please. Okay, so this case is about an illegal arrest that I had at San Francisco General on 11:27:13. Uh, I was in there to uh, give them an IDR to follow up for an illegal 5150 that I requested my medical records for. Before I start the video to show everybody what happened and everything else, I want to point out on the overhead projector, and I don't know how to flip to it, the fact that, you know, I've been in front of the task force many times, and the decision is that, yes, medical records are public records because they fall under the definition of public records. Uh, which I would have to find for you, but prior orders of determination ruling that one's on medical records. So I don't know how to get this overhead projector started. Well, then let's roll the film until I can get the overhead projector started. Let me just go ahead and roll the film then. Is anybody coming out to help me, or is everybody going to continue to hide behind closed doors? So here I am requesting my medical records and trying to hand them an IDR. I'm in the public area. Just goes to show you how much sunshine doesn't matter to the San Francisco General Hospital. Uh, am I breaking the law? Can you quote me the law I'm breaking? Can you quote me the law I'm breaking? Don't approach me. Ask me before you No? Are you going to... Okay, so, you know, this comment about, you know, medical records, one's own medical records are public records, you know, it falls in the same vein as, you know, if you're requesting uh, your police records, you know, this assertion that they're not is just uh, an inaccurate assertion. Now, on the overhead projector, for example, there's an order of determination dated 2011, December, uh, in which uh, uh, the Department of Public Health 
uh, ignore sending me my medical records, a copy, a, co a copy of his medical records. So apparently, you know, there's been a decision ruled in my favor that medical records are in your jurisdiction. Hmm, interesting. You know, another problem I have with you, your guys' dysfunction is that there's no precedent here. Yes, people are correct. I've been here numerous times regarding this issue over numerous years, only to have the Department of Public Health and everybody else play this game that, you know, medical records are not public records. You know, each and every time, you know, when I, when I won, there's been no result. As a matter of fact, here's another case in May of 2011 regarding the Haight-Ashbury in which I was proven correct about a HIPAA violation, you know, when I requested my medical records and you guys found in my favor that, yes, medical records were public records. Hmm. Shall I continue? Why not? Just to continue to show the farce here. Here is an order of determination dated 2002 against, mind you, the Sheriff's Department when it came to requesting my records, which included my medical records and everything, which you guys found in my favor. Hmm, but you know, considering you never have a precedent set, and the wheel has got to continually be remade here, it's, it's very, very harmful. Is that 117 that I have left, or 115 that, that I'm into this? One minute and 10 seconds left. Oh my god. Anyway, I'm sorry about this. Basically, I've not received my records, what I requested through the IDRs. And, you know, this is nothing more than a joke and a farce. It's continued. Uh, there's never, like I said, any precedent. There's never holding anybody accountable. The last time somebody didn't show up in the Department of Public Health, which was Ms. Eileen Shields, she was referred to ethics. Nothing came of that. I have that determination. You guys are pitiful, disgusting, harmful, injurious to people who are trying to get their rights, what they need, so that if they need to file a lawsuit or do something proper, they can have their records. You guys are disgraceful. Totally, totally disgraceful. Now, I'm sure that the other side is going to get up and tell you that medical records aren't. You know, look under the definition of what, what you know, public records are. I believe it's 6252. You know, before you bend over backwards for the other side and their mischaracterizations and their misapplication of law.
Uh, my understanding is, and I shared that with him, that video was not available, but again, that was just in, uh, uh, in being compliant with his request. We didn't have access to it by informing him what I knew and where to be able to look for that answer. Therefore, I don't believe that uh, there was any substance to the complaint uh, uh, in front of this uh, commission or task force to substantiate that the Sheriff's Department was anything but timely and responsive to his request. Thank you.
Uh, Mr. Diego, the, the question, uh, this, the filming at San Francisco General Hospital, um, is that under the administration of the Sheriff's Department? I do not believe it is. I'm looking for um, my correspondence with uh, institutional control at the General Hospital to get that specific answer. If you give me a moment, I'm looking through my um, uh, correspondence with San Francisco General Hospital and our institutional patrol unit to get a better explanation of how, how that uh, work division has worked out. I'm to get that in a minute. Sure. Uh, thanks so much. I mean, I think that we need to figure out who is responsible for the video footage, the surveillance footage at San Francisco General Hospital in order to really move forward in terms of his complaint and figure out what the party that would be responsible for these records, whether or not they're public, would be. Um, yeah, several things. I think I'm good with Mr. Garza for the moment, but I think I also want to actually want to be clear that this was not about medical records at all. You were maybe leaving an IDR with the medical record staff, but this particular records request is not about your medical records. Is that correct? According to what I've been told by the... That would be a no, incorrect, because according to what I've been told by San Francisco Police Department, they were informed that any activity on San Francisco General Hospital is considered a clinical activity and that I can't even video record. They couldn't even point out the fact that, you know, video recording is not illegal. So under their advisement, the answer would be no, you know. Okay. Thank you. I'll come back to the video question. Um, Mr. Nico, if you could take a second. Yes. Um, another mic. So let me just understand the framework for a second. Um, I believe Mr. Harrigan was the counsel to the sheriff. He was replaced by Ms. Horn. Correct. correct? And you're Ms. Ms. Horn you counsel? counsel? OK, just so I know. Um, so the immediate disclosure request from uh, Mr. Grant Garza was pretty extensive. You saw that. You referred to it. Correct. The only documents that you found in your diligent search in the Sheriff's Department were the um, incident um, and the unit log. Correct. And that unit log was very hard to review. Right. But in any event, those were the only documents that you found relative to that incident that was that the Sheriff had. Correct. There may be other documents that exist in the world, but that's all that you guys had. Correct. And that was provided. You did a diligent search. You said that you're going to do it. You followed up. You had back and forth, et cetera, et cetera. You declined Mr. Garza's request to come in and meet with you and videotape and all that. But you provided the records that he requested. That's correct. And that's all there is. There, you don't have anything else. Correct. If you had access to the video, would you um, disclose that? Or do you not want to speculate at this point? Uh, at this point, unless there was something um, um, confidential on it, which I don't no, it would or wouldn't, but uh, the investigation, there was no pending investigation, so I don't think there would have been an issue uh, if it was available to have turned it over. Okay. The, so let me further understand. The function that the Sheriff's Department provides at SF General is the security function only on the premises. You're not, you're not the police at uh, SF General any more than you're the police anywhere else in town. The police department does police work and arrest people and does that sort of thing. You merely provide institutional security at SF General. Is that pretty correct? Well, it, it, it's correct. Right. However, um, or is it more the Sheriff's Department, our peace officers, so they, they do have arrest power at San Francisco okay. General Hospital and the surrounding community. So, um, the police yeah, are also no. correct. Okay. Uh, and they can do both. And in this case, the incident involving Mr. Grant Garza, he was detained, arrested, whatever by the sheriffs or the police or combination? It, from my understanding, it was the sheriff's um, issue. I can pull that report. I think I included it in your packet of who the originating agency was. Okay, so it came as a police report, but the sheriffs can actually arrest people and then the police file a police report and sort of a joint thing? Is that how that works? It depends how it's originated. If, if okay. Mr. Garza was detained, um, on the street by the police, it would be a police report. He was detained on the street or on the premises of San Francisco General Hospital. It would be a sheriff's incident report. Just depends who the originating agency is. Okay. And what you provided, I thought, said San Francisco. It does. It says San Francisco Police Department incident report. So he was arrested uh, by the police, and uh, I have to 
belief at San Francisco General Hospital, uh, there was a police report which indicated there was certain property from him that was taken, but he was looking for specific uh, property to, to obtain back. Uh, I think it was some cameras, which was in the police report. Therefore, those cameras and anything taken from him should have been um, requested from the police department. Okay. Which I advise him also. And the reason that your department had this police department incident report is because the incident occurred at SF General? I'd have to look at the police report to find out what the facts of that case were. But, but generally, if you don't have police reports, the police department does, right? Correct. Okay. Um, all right. And, and by the way, in our packets in the future, maybe this is to Victor and to Nick. Um, I hate to say this, but Mr. Grant Garza's social is listed. That's not great. Can we really try to redact those things on our end before they go out? Thanks. Um, so I think I'm, I'm pretty good with the Sheriff's Department. You provided all that you had, and that's that's all there is. So maybe I can turn to Ms. Estrada for a moment. We didn't have in our packet anything that I saw from the Department of Public Health in response to Mr. Grant Garza's request. Mm -hmm. Did you provide anything to the task force? Um, I'm sorry, were you requested to do so? Did you get notice of the hearing, all of that? We, yeah, and we just didn't have any documents responsive, at least for this hearing. I'm sorry, didn't you say that you responded to Mr. Grant Garza's initial request? Yes, that's correct, yeah. And you didn't provide us a copy of that response so that we could evaluate whether you had a complete and timely response? That's also correct. Is that your, that's a problem, I mean, how, how do we I get mean, that information? Because we need to evaluate. This is not, a, the, in my defense, I was brand new to the role and I wasn't sure how the Sunshine Task Force process worked. I mean, Eileen Shields had just left and I had taken over for her yep. two weeks prior. So, I, I, this was literally my first Sunshine request that came in. Okay, but, but it's, like I said, it's not an excuse. Do we have that information now? Do you have copies? I have provided? a copy. Okay, maybe if you could give that copy to Victor, we can have it in the file and you can circulate it because we need to evaluate it. It doesn't appear to us that there was any response from DPH and that's kind of a problem for me. Um, can you summarize for us what your response was to Mr. Van Garza? Um, yeah, as I believe I, January 28th was the day that we responded to him saying that there was no video for footage that we were aware of that would be responsive to his request. Was there a response within, or by the close of business or the following business day? There was, and invoking an extension of time, yes. Did you provide that to yes. us as well? Um, okay. And as to any other documentation, any of the other paperwork that he was asking for, did you search for and did you find anything? We searched and nothing was found. There were no responsive documents. And okay. that was also in the same email. And that was communicated? Yes. Okay. Um, are you two still sorting out who's responsible for the video? Yes. I have a, I have an email uh, from the institutional patrol captain uh, to him from an Eric Kondo, K-O-N-D-O, the chief engineer for the San Francisco General Hospital and Trauma Center, um, which indicates that uh, in attempts to retrieve the video footage in question, it was verified that this video was not available. The loss of video was the result of the final step of reconfiguration that was needed to stabilize our, our, our archiving system by the installer, Siemens Building Technology, and the manufacturer, Leno. The loss was not planned for, but due to some reconfiguration formats that needed to be applied, the loss of video approximately approximately three weeks, was unavoidable to move forward with the process despite exhausting efforts to try and preserve them. Uh, this is information that's consistent with my response uh, to Mr. Garza indicating that the video was not available anymore. Due to technical reasons. Correct. Okay, so I'm not sure that I'm putting this on either of you, but it just seems um, almost unbelievable to me. After that woman was lost and, and disappeared, was found deceased at the hospital. This is like two months later, and the video from three weeks of routine taping at the hospital is not available due to a reconfiguration of some equipment. That's, 
That's scary, sort of. I have an answer for the hospital or the sheriff's department regarding what video was referred to or what video was uh, affected or not. I think that's a, a bigger question I'm able to answer right now. We were looking for a specific video, specific location for a specific Okay, so it may or may not be a, a broader power oh, limit right. in any event. Um, and just finally for me, can you, since you're, you know, can, can you help me with the question of whether or not uh, videotaping, as Mr. Grant Garza appears to be doing now, um, in this room, in a public building, why that would not be legal at SF General in the medical records office? I'm just wondering. Well, because the medical records office, uh, I haven't done any research on this, my, my initial reaction though, is medical records office could uh, have uh, confidential information available or, company, or uh, confidential conversations going on. That's why people need to be uh, advised of it and agree to it. But in the absence of specific documents being uh, in sight or a conversation occurring, is the general practice of videotaping at a uh, public facility permitted or not permitted? Uh, I haven't researched that for today. I would, I would say there are exceptions. I think um, uh, public places is certainly an exception. Uh, public buildings, there are exceptions. Actual specific people in offices, I think there are, there are limits. And depending on where you're talking about and where in an office you're talking about. Okay. Could I say something in defense Excuse of all this? Um, Thank you for your answer. Um, member Wolf and then Member Hyland. Um, so, Mr. Nico, uh, excuse me, Mr. Nico, thanks for uh, getting that information around the facilities. I'm still kind of at a loss. Like, that information came from you, but the way you said it, I'm still confused as to whether it's the responsibility of the Sheriff's Department or the facilities at SF General who. Um, maintain that footage and whether it was a failure on the part of the um, Sheriff's Department and the technicians that were hired on behalf of them or SF General and the technicians that were hired on behalf of the Department of Public Health that are responsible for this loss of the footage. I, it still remains unclear whose job it is to be the administrator, administrator of that information. Uh, I understand that, that confusion and based upon the information that I got it's pretty much you now know what information I received regarding the video. Uh, I was advised the video was not available. I did not inquire into whose responsibility it was. I can't answer that for you now. I would certainly, uh, if that's a question you have, try to answer that more specifically for you. But in regards to what video was available for this day, I was advised it was not. Right, I understand that. But in, in, in what you just read, you, 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 you spoke of a particular job role that gave that information, and it's unclear to me whether that job that you referenced is within the sheriff's uh, sheriff's department or within the Department of Public Health. Who is the best name? Orphan? Uh, let, me, let me find it. Yeah. Mr. Condo, K O N D O. Uh, facilities manager, I think, is what he said he was. Or no policies. No one has any policies? I thought I requested policies. Excuse me, Sorry. Question to Ms. Ms. Saria while uh, Mr. Nico yeah. puts out that information. Um, the uh, the video that we watched transpire um, in Mr. Garza's presentation. Um, never mind. That's actually I don't need to ask that. Yet. It, it, it's outside of our purview actually. So I apologize for starting a question and stopping. Uh, Mr. Garza, I have a question for you. The video that you showed, was that, that was after the arrest or that was when you were trying to get records pertaining to that arrest? What, what were we watching there? Um, unfortunately, having been in front of you guys many times, in many incarnations, 
you know, I've only been detained and arrested falsely and 5150 falsely and seeking my medical care and medical records. That's why I've continually told you that I'll continue to come back until I'm dead, apparently, and recreate the wheel numerous times because you people are unfathomable. Um, <coughs> in response to your question, I've been illegally 5150918. -15 Amazingly enough, the Sheriff's Department didn't have copies of those videos nor copies of the policies, just like the Sheriff's Department and the uh, Mr. Department Mr. of Morris, Public Health. Could you answer? Mr. I thought I was. What was, was the question? date of the video? 11-27-13. 11-27-13. Great. Thank you. So you were seeking the video footage that corresponds to what you just showed us. Is Correct. Today. Because if you go in the hallways, you'll see that there's cameras there that have video footage, you know, and everything. They're taking video footage. You know, according to the city attorney's false interpretation of HIPAA, you know, that is a public area, and I am entitled to video record, especially walking inside to the medical office records. There's a place to sit for the people to sit and everything else. There's a desk to be helped. That's a public area. This representation that, you know, I'm trying to videotape something else other than the receipt of what I'm seeking is a false red herring that they're using to divert from the subject. That they don't have any policies. As a matter of fact, I was told by the CIT officer, Kelly Kruger, at the San Francisco Police Department, uh, and Mr. Tag Yamaguchi, that as soon as I step foot on San Francisco General, I give up all my rights to medical and legal care because the sheriff has sole jurisdiction okay. there. So, Mr. Mr. Garza, were you, were, you, were you given a reason for, for the arrest um, or the detention? Uh, as a matter of fact, I've continued to try to follow up with Mr. Yamaguchi to file a complaint yeah, against the false arrest record in which they described me as being a certain way which I wasn't, which my video proves, and that was the reason I was trying to get their videos to show that everything that was represented in the police report, the incident report that was given about that incident was false, and that all the characters were playing their part in basically poisoning the well against me and saying incorrect things. Excuse me, I'd like to um, urge everyone to stay on point. We have some very specific issues we're addressing. We have a long agenda tonight, and um, there are a lot of interesting aspects to this, but we have some specific issues that we're dealing with. Thank so you. I would request this of everyone. Mr. Nico, do you have an answer to the um, I, did, I did find a, a person uh, we were dealing with is Eric Kondo, K-O-N-D-O, Chief Engineer at San Francisco General Hospital. So he would be within the Department of Public Health and not the Sheriff's Department? Correct. He did liaison with the power captain out there to try to obtain this video, um, and we were obtained, but could not be obtained by either side. Great. Thanks. Um, member Hyland and Member uh, Rumble. Ms. Sir, I have a question for you. Um, I, I appreciate that you were kind of thrown into this role last minute, but unfortunately, the dissent, your department for sending someone knowledgeable about basic things like these video records. So I'm, I'm tempted by a violation of 22 a for that reason. Sorry to throw it into the fire this way, but it's a good way to kind of understand you know, the responsibilities of keeping out the sunshine uh, for your department. It seems like you're, what, what exactly is your question? Do you have information on this, sir? So that's, that's something that Mr. Nico, or I, I suppose it's for, for either of you, uh, Mr. Garza also requested policies related to retention of the uh, in, in the hospital. If I, have, has that been produced by DPH or the Sheriff's Department? I, I know it's still something of an open question. Uh, I did respond to that, indicating that the Sheriff's Department does not have written uh, video retention policies or procedures. That's what I know, that's what I was told, that's why I responded to him. Uh, where they are in the hospital, at all, if at all, I do not know. Um, are they needed? Again, I do not know, but um, after this, I will find out what, uh, what the specifics with regard to video retention and uh, uh, just keeping 
charge of 